Uh, yeah, good morning. I'm looking to hire the first uh, employee for Fidelity Canada. Who's here? Hello. You? Hi. Nice to meet Hi. you. Nice to meet Come you. Come on in. Nice Come you. on in. Thank you. Thanks. Congratulations, number one. Yeah, congratulations. You're the first employee hired by Fidelity. Thank congratulations. You. See you tomorrow. Right. Have a good day. Yeah. All right. Sorry. Who's next? <laughs> next? You? Yeah. Love the hair. Hi. Love the hair. Lawrence, Hi. Lawrence Mark. Sorry? Lawrence Mark. Lawrence. All right. Nice to meet you. Come on. Come on in, Lawrence. Come on in and have yourself a seat. I know you've been waiting a long time. You know what? I'm okay. I'm okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Have a seat. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Let's get this started. I'm tired. I'm hot. So, Lawrence. Yes. Tell me a little bit about yourself. Well, uh, you know, I'm just looking for a new opportunity uh, uh, where I can uh, use my skills to uh, bring a, a company along in the 1980s like we are in today. Wow, that's wonderful. Love it. Love your hair too, by the way. I try to get my hair like that every morning. Doesn't work. Mm -mm. It takes a bit of time, mm -mm. that's for sure. Okay, so what other interview questions do we have? Um, okay, what do you consider your best asset? Mm. Aside from your hair. Right, right. I would have to say my best asset is my ability to stay calm and uh, when, you know, the waters get a bit rough and, you know, calm the troops, so to say. That's wonderful. It warms my heart. So, I know there's other interview questions that I have for you. I just can't think of them. Go ahead and take another drag. Okay, I got it. Where do you see yourself in 25 years from now? It's a long time, I know, but think hard. Think hard. That's a really good question, Trudy. Uh, I, I would say uh, I, would, I would like to climb the corporate ladder. Um, you know, I, I can see myself moving into somewhat of a manager's role and progressing somewhere along the lines of a director and, you know, perhaps ending my career as a VP. Maybe the VP of Client Relations. Mmm! Those are high hopes! I love it! Huh! We need more people like you around here, like I said. Alright, I think you're hired! Wonderful! Congratulations! That's great! You're the second employee of Fidelity Investments! Congratulations! Number two? Uh, yeah. Who's next for the interview? Oh, yeah. Sure. Come on in. Why not? Hey, I'm John Johnson. Hi. Nice to meet you. I'll be your new manager. Sir, Lawrence Mark. Oh, nice to meet you, Lawrence. Larry. Larry. I like Larry. Larry. I like it, too. I like your do. Thanks. That's I've been, awesome. you know, I've been growing it for over a decade now, but I'm thinking of trying something new. Have you ever heard of something called a mullet? Oh, I, I don't know what that is. What, oh, what, what's a mullet? Business up on top and party at the back. It's a great like look. I, a lot like of the it. hockey players are doing it. Well, you know, did you uh, did you catch the episode of uh, Miami Lights last night? No, unfortunately, I was watching this <sighs> riveting game show called Bumper Stoppers, and they had this young guy by the name of Steve Benham. Him and his brother are on a three-day winning streak. They're up to two hundred bucks now. Cold hard cash. Oh wow! Ah yeah. oh, man, you should have you shouldn't have missed it. That that Don Johnson. Oh, what an actor. He does have good clothes. Oh, excuse me. Hold on. Sorry. Chip. Hey, how's it going? That short blue stock. Short blue stock. Hey, Francis. Uh, I'd like you to meet Larry Martin here. Uh, this is your new cellmate. I mean, colleague. Colleague. She thinks she's Madonna. Oh, hi, Francis. Oh, hi, Larry. Nice to meet you. Pleased to meet you, too. Okay. So tell me a little bit about yourself, Francis. Oh, I'm just a material girl living in a material world. Right. And how do you like Fidelity so far? I love it. Thankfully, Fidelity is at the edge of technology. Just look at those fancy gadgets helping us work to be done. 
the newest version of Commodore 64, mm -hmm. a state-of-art cellular phone, and mm -hmm. some uh, doohickey uh, facsimile call machine. Well, I gotta get back to work, guys. I'll leave it to you two to figure out the seating arrangements, yeah? Uh, well, there is only two chairs, John, so it's not much to work out. Shouldn't take too long then, huh? Yeah. Thanks again, <laughs> John. You watching the Leaf game tonight? Oh, man, for sure. This is the best team since 1967. They're gonna be in the playoffs for the next 25 years, guaranteed. Hmm. Anyways, I'll see you guys. Okay, take Enjoy. care. But that was a nickname for Lawrence Martin, man. Okay, I'll be right on it. Eat this anymore. Okay. Okay. Larry, don't quit. Who the heck are you? Uh, I'm you. Uh, no, I'm me. If you were me, where's all that flowing hair? Don't worry about that now. Uh, Rogaine doesn't work. You're just wasting your money. Hmm. I've come back from the future to tell you not to quit at Fidelity. Uh, I bought a time machine, 0% down, 0% financing. It was an awesome deal. Ooh, good deal indeed. Wait, if you are from the future, you should be naked like a Terminator. Okay. I just came back to tell you not to leave. I know things are tough right now with your rotary phone and your fax machine and your gigantic cell phone telephone and your long, gorgeous, flowing hair. But it's important that you stay, otherwise you'll miss out on a lot of amazing times at Fidelity. Look buddy, I don't know who you are, but you have no idea, okay? I don't plan on sticking around here for long anyways. I have a music career. You know, I play the guitar for this band called Parachute Club. Perhaps you've heard of them? You should look them up sometime. Trust me, I've heard of them. You'll find out more once the internet comes out. The internet what? Exactly. Look, I've come back from the future to let you know that you can't quit, because if you do, you'll miss out on so many amazing times. And I'm going to take you through just some of those amazing moments. You'll have to bear with me. If some of the props look a bit weird, uh, we're on a bit of a shoestring budget here. So, time travel is very expensive. I can imagine. Uh, 100 liters of water checked. 50 boxes of Twinkie checked. Flashlight checked. The world might end tonight. Aren't you worried? No. We'll party like it's 1999. Hey, Larry. Yes, Francis. Wouldn't it be great if we just work off the off imaging? That way we won't have all these papers. Imaging. Imaging. You've got it. We're going to scan everything and work off of an image. We'll, we'll call it... Connex. Come, friend. Let's go hug a tree. Hey Mel, what's going on buddy? Yeah, it's Larry Martin here. Yeah, thanks for that great deal on the sofa bed the other day. Listen, I need a big favor. With all this snow we got out there right now, my staff are really having a difficult time getting into the office. You think you can do something about that? Uh, I don't know. Call the army or something. Hey Larry, nice to hear from you. Nobody ever calls me anymore. Nobody. Sure, yeah, I can call the armed forces. I'm the mayor of Toronto. I can do anything. By the way, I'm going to name a lot of stuff after myself. Tell me what you think. Mel Lastman Square to... Ah, well, that's already done. Maple Leaf Gardens to Mel Lastman's Garden. The Toronto Maple Leafs to the Toronto Melvins. Old City Hall to Old Lastman City Hall. And New City Hall to New Lastman City Hall. Sorry, buddy. Gotta go. Bye. Free masks and flu shots here. Free masks and flu shots here. Come on, guys. Come on. Don't wait. Come on. Come on in. 
Just line up right over here. Why, thank you. Just line thank up right, you. right over here. Yep, yep. thank you. Yep. 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 All right, line up right there. Uh, really? Right here. Yep. What's happening? <coughs> oh. 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 Sorry about that, guys. Oh. Sorry about that. Oh. There you go. There you go. Ow! Ow! All right. Good job, guys. All right. Are we done? Yeah, you're done. That's thank it. You. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. See you, everybody. See ya. Who the heck are you? I'm you in a distant future. What are you doing here? I'm you in 2030. We're retired in Florida. I know, I know. I look different, a little more muscular, a little bit tanned. Too much sun, you see. I'm here to convince the good-looking me not to quit. Well, I've, I've already done that. Hi, I'm Wayne Gretzky, Prime Minister of Canada and the Free World in 2045. Uh, Larry, listen, you can't quit. Your actions here will have tremendous impact to the people around you and the future of our country. Anyway, I gotta go. Janet needs a ride to the mall. You see, things will work out. Yeah, I guess you're right. And number two employee after all. Yeah, hey, so if you're really from the future, can you give me any stock tips? Sorry, compliance spoils all my fun. I did see you with a gold chain earlier, and I think you might want to hold on to that. It could be valuable in the future. Not to mention stylish. Thanks, Larry. Thank you, Larry. Still number one though, still number one.